Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna share my go-to powder foundation routine. I recently fell back in love with a powder foundation last year. Powder foundation was the first formula foundation that I wore in my teens, and I wore it through probably my 20s, and then I started feeling like cream and liquid foundations just gave me more of a natural finish and complemented my skin more. Until last year, I discovered a product, a powder foundation that actually looked so beautiful on my skin. It gave a natural finish. It didn't look dry. It didn't look overly matte. It actually looked like a liquid and a cream, but the ease of a powder. So I'm gonna share that with you today. I'm also gonna share a couple of tips and tricks on using different types of brushes to get different finishes with your powder foundation. So if you wanna get a full coverage, if you wanna get a lighter coverage, I'll kind of explain the uh, theory behind what type of brush heads you should look for and be using to accomplish that. So this video will be loaded with my, you know, my favorite foundation, powder foundation, and also makeup tips and hacks. I did partner with Jane Iredell for this video and I'm so excited. I have to kind of share a little backstory on this partnership because Jane Iredell is a brand that I've used in the past. It is not a new brand. I actually think they're kind of like the OG of natural, clean, non-toxic beauty. They're kind of known as the skincare cosmetics brand because their makeup had good for you ingredients for years. You know, I know that it's been a trend over the last five, six, seven years to have clean beauty, but they were doing it before it was cool. <laughs> so I really like to kind of share that. So anyway, last year I walked in and I met a Jane Iredell trainer. He's kind of like a regional like educator for the brand. I was mesmerized by him. I just loved how knowledgeable he was and he was so passionate about makeup and about, you know, skincare ingredients. And he sat me down and he like totally sold me on this system. And I wanted to share it with you. I've actually shared it in past videos, but today I wanted to kind of, you know, share it in the, the three steps that it is. Really quickly wanted to pop in here because after I filmed this video, Jane Iredell was generous enough to extend a 20% promo code for you guys. 20%. Woo! Lisa 20 will get you 20% off um, directly on their website. So you can't hop over to another retailer's website. You have to shop directly on their site. I'll have everything linked down for you below, but I didn't want to upload this video without sharing that good news. So let's dive back into the video. So enough chitter chatter. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me share with you what I have on my skin right now. I just have my normal skincare routine and I did a little brows on my um, eyebrows. I put a little brow pencil and a little brow gel, but I don't have any makeup on my skin at all. Um, aside from a little lip gloss, which I'm sure you can see. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with Jane Iredell's Smooth Affair Brightening Primer. Now this product is great for minimizing pores, smoothing out texture, it brightens the skin, it's loaded with antioxidants that are good for the skin. It's also gonna help your foundation wear longer. And I do wanna say with, specifically with like a powder foundation, you want to have the skin have like a supple like feeling. You don't want the skin to be bone dry. You really wanna give the powder something to adhere to, to the skin. So it's important to have, you know, freshly hydrated or freshly primed skin. This primer is a very hydrating primer. So even if you've applied your moisturizer and it's been a couple hours or an hour or whatever, and your skin is feeling dry, this will kind of double as added hydration and moisture and a primer for your makeup. And I just do, you know, a little larger than a pea size amount. And I like to concentrate this. I always start in the center of my face because that's where, oh, it feels so good. Oh, it smells so good too. It literally feels like, like a facial right now. Anyway, it's gonna help smooth out texture and I tend to have the most texture right here on my cheeks. I also have it on my forehead. Here I'm dealing with pores, here I'm de dealing with just signs of aging. And I'm really just gonna massage and kind of rub that in to my skin. It feels so good. Wow, that really feels so nice. So next we're gonna go in with our Pure Pressed Mineral Foundation. Now I have my compact here. This is the one that I purchased last year. And But I do wanna show you when you first purchase the product, you purchase a refillable compact and then you purchase the refill. So after your first initial purchase, you'll just go in and purchase the refill. I'm the shade Golden Glow. Now this is described as a one-time foundation and concealer routine. It has mineral SPF of 20 in it. It gives a semi-matte finish and it's medium to full coverage that is buildable. And you can really alter the coverage based on the tools that you use. So in general, if you use something really dense, um, like let's say uh, something like this, this is a big round buffing brush. This is going to apply pretty full coverage. This particular one, this is by BK Beauty, this particular one does have some give and some movement so you can blend it out. But if you were to use something smaller, let's say like, like for example, 
this, which is essentially the same shape, but smaller. This is gonna apply the product in a full coverage fashion. If you were to use a sponge, you'll get ultimate full coverage. If you want lighter coverage, you wanna use something looser and longer. So if you compare these bristles, like let's just use the 106 initially. If you compare the bristles and you look, just, and you know, whatever brushes you have at home, you guys, just look at what you have. So if you use a fluffy long brush, this is gonna give more natural light coverage. Something short and dense like this that has less movement is gonna give more full coverage. Now, one thing that I like to say about powder foundation is remember, this is a foundation. So I think a lot of people kind of view it as a powder. So sometimes they'll use it to set over a foundation. And I kind of equate that to putting on liquid foundation and then later in the day, grabbing more liquid foundation and piling it on top. You're going to get like a lot of product on the skin. So I can't say that I've never dusted a powder foundation over liquid foundation, but if I do just be aware of what you're doing and use a large brush, very light lightly. Okay. All right. So I want pretty full coverage today because I don't have anything on my skin. So I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to use the, um, large buffer brush and I'm going to press it into the product, really coat the brush with that product. And I'm just going to start in the center of my face and I'm just first going to kind of press the brush onto the skin because I have that primer. It's really kind of like that adhere adhesive to the product. It's really going to grab the product. I was really impressed when I used this product last year. I know I shared it in a couple of videos back when I first discovered it. I think I put it in a favorites video. It just was like nothing like any other powder foundation I had ever used. It had been a while since I had, you know, gotten in the routine of using a powder foundation because in my head, they all kind of looked the same. They were very flat, matte. They just made my skin look dry. This one actually made my skin look skin-like. So I'm gonna go and kind of build a little bit more, buff in little circles. Before I go and apply the other side, I wanted to show you guys kind of what it looks like with foundation and then bare skin. You can definitely see more coverage and even complexion, but it still looks very natural. All right, we're gonna go and do the other side. I start by just pressing. When you pr use this pressing motion, you're kind of basically getting as much coverage as you possibly can from the tool that you're using. Once you start to buff and move in circles, that's gonna kind of just blend and shear product out. So you'll see me do this technique a lot when I'm working around the perimeter of the face, because again, I don't want any harsh lines there. And you'll see me do this technique pressing when I'm working in the center of the face, when I'm trying to get coverage. It just has such a beautiful, soft, velvet-like finish. So I've applied it all over the face. I didn't apply it under the eye. We're actually gonna apply this product under the eye. I'm gonna go back in with the primer and I'm gonna add a little bit more under the eyes just to create a little more hydration there. Yeah, I want that area really hydrated. Then I'm gonna go back into the product and I'm gonna use a much smaller smaller brush that is more appropriate for this part of the face. I'm going to load up the brush and I'm just going to press it underneath the eye. Now I'll be honest, I usually wear a cream or liquid foundation with this product, but I did want to try it as concealer. Now the coverage of this underneath the eye, it's going to conceal. Do you guys see the difference? It definitely concealed and brightened. A liquid or cream concealer is going to be a more concentrated product, so you'll get a little more full coverage, but this does look very natural. Okay, that actually looks really good, you guys. Paired with the primer, like put the primer on and then immediately go in with the powder, and it creates more like a cream to powder product. So I've really layered this product underneath the eye. I don't think I've ever put this much powder underneath my eye before. The key is using the primer just before, and I have great coverage, like everything is even. Okay, wow. So that is the pressed mineral powder foundation underneath the eye as concealer. The last step is setting everything with the Pomest Hydration Setting Spray. What you wanna do is, I like to spray, you don't wanna spray too close. You wanna spray it so when you spritz the face, you get a nice even mist across the skin. And I kind of start, you know, I would say I'm what, maybe about 10 or 12 inches away from the face. And I do, what was that, three or four sprays. I kind of allow it to really set and absorb into the skin. I wanna make sure that I covered the whole face. So I was actually gonna skip this product because I have a drawer full of setting sprays and I'm not someone that uses setting sprays like daily. I typically do them when I have a special event or I need my makeup to last all day, but it's not a step in my makeup routine that I do all the time. And I thought, you know, I have tons of setting sprays, I'm good. But he was explaining to me that this product was actually designed to go perfectly with the mineral press foundation. And it not only is gonna set your makeup and keep it on all day, but it's gonna make the foundation look more skin-like and just like give that beautiful final finishing step to the powder foundation. And it truly does. When you set the makeup with this, it really gives a radiant, 
skin-like finish to the foundation. So I highly want to rec recommend this, even if you are not someone that uses setting sprays, if you're going to purchase the foundation, you want this as your final, think of these two as together. Like it truly is a three step system for everything to like work together and give you that beautiful, natural looking finish with a powder foundation. So that is a three step system. It is super easy, very convenient. I want to encourage you if you are someone that has loved powder foundation in the past, like I was, and you got away from it because you know it started, you felt like it started to look too dry on your skin or too matte or too flat, and you were looking for more of a skin-like finish, so you you know ventured off to creams or liquids, and you haven't tried Jane Iredell's Mineral Pressed Foundation, I highly encourage you to pick this up and try it, you guys. It truly is unlike any other powder foundation that I have ever used before. I love how convenient it is. I love that it's got a mineral SPF of 20 in it, clean, good for you ingredients. I have really like discovered so many Jane Iredell products over the last six months that I've loved. And it's not a new brand. I really feel like they deserve the credit for starting this clean, natural, non-toxic movement. But that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> I'm gonna link these three in the description box below and I will link um, some of my other favorite Jane Iredell products as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.